Reese Carter, the man in the middle for this one. Touch of gloves with Sugar Hill. Whitaker just taking a seat on the rope there, right at the start of the proceedings, just nicking a little bit more Center. relaxation Bravo. before things get underway. Whitaker in the black, white, and red. Dread Eye in the black. Nice sharp jab. First off from Whitaker. Well, the fact that they've sparred. He'll have some idea what to expect here, Whitaker. So I don't think he'll need to. Feeling out process should be as uh, lengthy. Open to swapping jabs. Well, right hand from Whitaker, but Dredd, I was on the move, pulling back out of range, so just rode it. One, two, and then the left hook off the back of it. So it's a good start from Ben. You know, it's a usual start from Ben. He's landed some clean punches. He's moving with his showboating. He's got the, uh, the good part in the ring right now, the, the center of the ring. And he looks in control. Brad, I turned southpaw there very briefly. to me there dread eye that wasn't a punch that was landed he was dragged down with the left hand more than anything else so no knockdown called there <laughs> this is Ben here he goes here he goes this is what you get from Ben Whitaker looking for that long right hand more orthodox now again, looking for that long right, landed it. Didn't have any great effects on Dread Eye. Left hook just staggers him slightly, brings a smile though from the Albanian. He ran into a right hand shortly after that as well. It's a clean punch. Just wandered forward there, Dread Eye. That was dangerous. The left hand came back from Whitaker. Dread Eye wasn't committed to his own right hand at all. He's a nice, accurate, sharp punch. He's landing here for Ben Whitaker, so he's found his range. You can tell these guys have been in the ring together before. You, know, you can feel the, the familiarity. He likes to enjoy himself in there. Ben Whitaker, he knows that this is the entertainment business, the entertainment that people really want to see. Outside of ring walks, and the odd bit of nifty footwork is solid punches landing, opponents falling. That's what people pay their money for. Can he supply that in the remainder of this fight? Very early days. Very good head movement shown from Ben as well. He does showboat a lot, but he, he shows a lot of skill also. I think people have to, you know, recognize that. Very good head movement. Again, Dreddard just walking in a bit there as he threw that right and left hand. Whitaker had pulled his feet well back out of range, so wasn't in any position to do anything about that. But this could be a problem for Dreddard. If he just wanders in without really committing to those shots, then he could find himself walking onto something. Yeah, I think that's what trying to, Whitaker's trying to do. He's trying to feint him half a step back, trying to lure 
Jedi into committing, falling short, dead stock in no man's land, and that's when he's wide open then for the counters. Throws a right hand and then just moves off to the right hand side. I don't think Dreda has yet found what he can do, you know, to, to affect Ben. He's kind of just waiting for the next Ben attack. Um, but that's credit to Ben, I guess. His rounds have been slower than the first round. I think Ben's trying to find actual openings now. You know, he's not as much showboating's happening. Maybe this movement and negativity from Dredd has, you know, making him more serious. Just dips his knees and goes to the body with the right hand. Dredd Eye looking for a left to the body. I've seen the change in Ben's eye, Ben's eye from the beginning. He looks more focused on getting the job done rather than showboating. Looks to try and let go with that left hand there as Dread Eye was coming forward. Closing stages of round two. Good body shot, good left to the body there from Ben. with Tyler Denny, I believe. Wolverhampton a few weeks ago. Reese Carter just having a word with a pair of them after that exchange at the end of the previous round. It'll be very interesting to see what is next for Tyler and some run that he's on. <laughs> Left hand landed from Whitaker. Red Eye turns south, Paul. He's done that a few times in the fight so far. Throws that left and then follows it straight in. I think he uses it as a little bit of a get out. Good one, two there from Whitaker. And again, the right hand runs, and maybe he's just beginning to lock on the touch here. Yeah, I'd like ben to. Whittaker. I'd like to. I'd like to see him, you know, put his foot on the gas now. Go through the gears, get this guy out of there. Show that your levels above. Very good combination there from Ben. Ben's right hand's been on the money tonight. You can see that by Dreda's eye. His left eye got some swelling. Just trying to fire back, but Whitaker all of a sudden wasn't where he had been a split second ago as he gestures towards Vidal Riley. It's my left hand side there, Ben Whitaker. Tell you, Ben's something else, man. <laughs> he is something else. But like Matt said, you know, we come here to, to see the damage get done and for him to prove that he's levels above, so he wants to get him out of there shortly. Blood coming from the nose, I think, there, a dread eye. Oh, it could be the mouth, and he goes down to a knee. He's taken some blows in this round. He looks at the corner, and that wasn't very encouraging. I'm not sure how much longer he really wants to stay in there, Stephen Dreadeye. Just over a minute remaining in round three. He went down to the knee voluntarily there. It could have been a good tactical move if he knew that something was coming that could possibly put him away. And Whitaker will be looking to do exactly that. Looking outside of the ring. He's got his man in trouble here and he needs to capitalise on it rather than speaking to people outside of the ring. I'm not against this kind of stuff, it's entertaining, but Reese Carter has had enough and he's having a word with Whitaker here. And I have to say that I'm with the referee on this occasion because he's got a job to do in there, Matt. Yeah, and look, 30 seconds left in this round. I want to see him just get through those gears and get him out of there. He's already showing the body language that he may be there ready for the taking now, so do it. Closing stages. It was interesting to see Dreddai go to the knee. Obviously, those punches had had a significant effect on him, a cumulative effect.
I think we'd like to see Ben get the finish next round. Uh, this was a solid round. Lands a good right hand, right on the bell. So welcome to our viewers on main event. You join us at the start of round four. Ben Whitaker has just put Stephen Dreddy in the black down in the previous round. He's caused some serious damage to the Albanian's nose and maybe he's about to turn the screw here and close the show. It seems eminently possible. It was left hands that did the damage. The right hand up top and then the left hand, a big long uppercut through the middle. You can see the head get rocked back. And he had an opportunity to put his foot on the gas in the 50 seconds that remained after that and chose not to. But he does have plenty of time. Oh, But to be and gentlemen, referee Reese Carter calls a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of round number four, declaring your winner by no!